I want to go over several reasons why I chose to go with micro inverters rather than going with a single string inverter. You may be surprised to learn apples to apples, micro inverters are actually cheaper than string inverters. I'll explain what no one else is talking about. Stick with me for just a couple minutes to learn more. Let's get started. Depending on your level of understanding on how a solar system actually does work, you may be asking yourself, what are micro inverters and what is a string inverter? A string inverter is usually installed as a single inverter that converts the DC coming from your solar panels to AC within one centralized inverter. Depending on the size of your solar system, you may even have two or three string inverters. However, on typical residential installations, we'll only have one central inverter. Micro inverters are installed at the panel level. Each solar panel will have its own micro inverter. So on my system, we have 27 micro inverters. We also have 27 solar panels. There's a general misconception that micro inverters cost a lot more than what a central inverter does. That's simply just not true. To obtain similar reporting from a string inverter, you have to pair it with optimizers. And when you go to pair it with optimizers, now you have a single string inverter, and in my case, 27 more optimizers, adding a lot more cost to your system. And I'll talk about other expenses that come with adding a string inverter rather than micro inverters that almost no one is talking about a little later on in the video. I chose to go with micro inverters for several reasons, and I'm going to give you nine reasons why I chose micro inverters over the string inverter. Number one, Enphase offers a 25 year warranty on their micro inverters, and most string inverters only offer a 10 year manufacturer warranty, leaving a 15 year gap in their warranty. And I'm talking about the major brand. Enphase is the industry leader when it comes to micro inverters. I chose Solark when it came to a string inverter and their warranty is only 10 years. Number two, reporting. It's important to me to be able to monitor my system down to the panel level. This cannot be achieved using a single string inverter without pairing it to optimizers. Number three, believe it or not, it was cheaper for me to install in phase micro inverters than it would have been if I chose to do the string inverter by Solark, especially if I had to buy those additional optimizers. Number four, because that DC current is being converted at the panel, I did not have to use EMT. As a DIYer, I didn't have the tools to make the bins that may be required on a custom installation of a solar system. But I do have experience working with Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 PVC pipe, so there was really no learning curve when it come working with that. But if I went with the DC and I had to run the EMT, then there would have been a much larger learning curve to make the bends and get those right using tools that really I've never used before. So in other words, it made my installation process a lot simpler. Number five, I did not want a central point of failure. This may be a pro to some, but it was definitely a negative to me. If I use a string inverter that has a 10 year warranty and it fails after that 10 years, then I'm going to have to fork out several thousand dollars just to replace that one inverter. On the micro inverters, they have a 25 year warranty. And if we have failure after 25 years, then I'm only out maybe 200 bucks maximum. Number six, I felt more comfortable working at the panel level, connecting those 370 watt panels one at a time on the micro inverters than I would if I was doing that on a string inverter. There's a little bit more protection against electrical shock using the micro inverters. When wiring a series on a string inverter, you have an increased risk of electrical shock. Number seven, I chose in phase micro inverter because of the quality of service that is provided by that company. During the pandemic, it was hard to get someone to even answer their phone. And when they did, they did not make me feel appreciated. Enphase seemed to take another approach and stepped up their game and offered unmatched service. I really appreciate that and I'll always remember. Thank you, Enphase. Number eight, Enphase offers free training to help you understand how to properly install a Enphase solar system. 
I actually become a certified installer through Enphase University. And those classes were very helpful in the overall process. Number nine, although shading is not an issue with the location of my solar system, bird droppings definitely are. If a bird targets my array and I can't get it cleaned immediately, it only affects the panels that got hit. It does not affect the entire series. I mentioned that before. If I don't have optimizers, then that would be a problem. And for those reasons, I chose to go with in-phase microinverters. I've had several viewers comment on some of my other videos stating that microinverters cost so much more than string inverters. And microinverters are only a good choice if you're in a shaded area. I'm going to have to disagree. And as a matter of fact, I don't have any shading issues whatsoever with the location of my solar array. And I got my microinverters much, much cheaper than I could have gotten one single string inverter from Solark. And I have a video in my solar playlist I'll put up here in the corner that covers every item that I bought on my solar system and exactly what I paid for it. And you'll see in that spreadsheet that I paid much less for 27 microinverters than I would have if I would bought one single string inverter. If you have a solar system or you're looking to build a solar system, leave me a comment and let me know which type of system you're looking to build, one with microinverters or one with a single string inverter. Which do you prefer and why do you prefer it? I hope you enjoyed and learned a little something from this video. If you did, hammer home that little thumb button. It's a kind way to help my channel grow. I appreciate y'all and don't forget to check out my other videos if you enjoy talking about solar and learning more about the solar process like I do. I can't wait to start working on the next video. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Cheers.